Hello everyone, this is Brenniger. Raleigh of Fish Keeping Jamaica asked me to tell you a little bit about myself and my hobby. And as always, I'm happy to be included. I'm just a guy who keeps several aquaria running as a hobby. I'm most interested in keeping my pets and plants happy and healthy. I also hope to create some attractive aquascapes. And I like to share my hobby on YouTube and connect with other aquarists. Factor in fish keeping with your everyday life. I check the temperature of my heated aquaria twice a day. One morning this week I discovered that the heater in my 75 gallon tank had failed. I put a spare heater in the tank and returned home from work twice to check on the tank. Thankfully the fish were fine. Keeping my tanks going doesn't often interrupt my plans but when it does, I make it my priority. When my videos fail to get much response, I have only myself to blame. i found repeatedly that when I reach out to other aquarists on YouTube, help and fellowship are readily available. Though I read extensively about the hobby early on, I didn't know nearly enough to keep aquatic life healthy and happy. Since I began watching Fish Fam YouTube videos six or eight years ago, I've gotten much better at it. I just wish I had this information from the start. I can't speak for anyone else, but personally I hope to break down some tanks and create some new aquascapes. This is a long process and I generally keep six or seven tanks going at once. I hate to have many more than that because I tend to get burnt out taking care of too many at once. But here you can see I took some driftwood from one tank. I'm allowing it to dry out so that there won't be any snails in my new aquascape. I also picked up some of these tiles from the hardware store and drilled holes in the center and got some stainless steel screws so that I can create some new driftwood ornaments. I have black paint and brushes there to paint the back of a new aquarium. And over here I purchased some more driftwood but it's Mopani driftwood. So let's see, I'm soaking it in water and you can see that the water is as dark as tea. So I want to allow the tannins to be released from that Mopani before I use it in a tank. I like to have nice clear water in my aquaria. So it'll be some time before I use this wood. I want to give this a try. Father Fish recommended it and I've seen other aquarists use it quite successfully to cap the potting soil at the bottom of a tank. Here's the next tank. This is a 20 high or a 20 tall. I've got it ready. I'll paint the back of the tank black. I like to have a black backdrop in my aquaria. If you know better, tell me what I'm doing wrong and what I should be doing. I won't take offense at correction. Post informative videos. Share your knowledge and experience in the hobby. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you Raleigh for including me in the series. Please leave a comment.